the most common mistakes in Rise of Kingdoms that actually destroys your account. Let's go. Spartans, what is your profession? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, my beautiful governors? Welcome to a new Rise of Kingdoms video. As you can see, today we will talk about some mistakes that you should stop doing ASAP. Some of these mistakes only decreases the value that you get while you're playing, but some of them can actually destroy your account. And after you watch the video, if your biggest mistake is not on the list, leave it in the comments so we can actually expand our mistake list even further. Without further ado, let's start with mistake number one. There is a reason why I have this commander's page on my screen right now and the mistake number one is investing your sculptures on wrong commanders and I think this is the biggest mistake. This is the most crucial mistake that most people do. I have a detailed video about this topic card up in the top but I will briefly recap that video. There are some group of commanders that you don't want to invest especially for free to plays and low spenders and group number one is commanders that you are getting from gold keys as you can see if you go to tavern we are gonna see some gold chests and there are some gold keys you can get those gold keys throughout the game all the time for free and if you click on here close this one go back to golden chest rewards and every single commander in here is accessible with the gold keys so you will get them from the gold keys you will work on them from the gold keys you will even expertise them with the gold keys it's gonna take a while but you will be able to do that for example Charles Martel is a gold key commander. I haven't invested not even one universal legendary sculpture on him. He's at 5535 and I already have 60 more sculptures. So only 100 sculptures left for me to max my Charles Martel from the gold keys. And the second group of commanders is early game commanders who has low shelf life. For example, Richard, my mistake is going for 5511. I mean, it's not the worst mistake, but 5111 Richard is actually good enough because now the only purpose of Richard is farming barbs, I mean chaining barbs with YSG. Or for example, let's go down and let's see Constantine. Same goes for Constantine. He is now only good for Sunset or Lost Canyon. Yes, he is the best commander in that game mode, but still that's just only one game mode and as free to plays as those spenders, the commanders that we work on, that we spend our legendary sculptures should be super versatile and we want them to be usable for the most of the things throughout the game. Another example could be Genghis Khan. As you can see, again, I made a mistake. I got him to 5-2-1-1 for some reason, but now he's not that good. Maybe in future, if he gets a relic buff from the museum, he might be good again, but for now, these are completely wasted sculptures. I don't know, like Edward, another bunch of sculptures wasted in here. So do not do these mistakes. Do not invest on those commander. And as I said, I have a detailed video on this topic. You can find that video in the description. And the last group of commanders, even though those commanders are actually superb, we don't care about them because we are free to plays. We are low spenders. And we, unfortunately, we don't need rallies. We don't need garrisons. And that's why you should always avoid legendary commanders like Theodora, I don't know, like Yi Sun Sin, even Gilgamesh, even Gilgamesh is usable for open field, still he is mainly a rally commander. These commanders, we don't need them because as I said, we won't be leading rallies, we won't be leading garrisons, so Theodora, Yi Sun Sin, I don't know, like Zenobia, even though those commanders are amazing, we should avoid investing on those commanders because we want to be as strong as possible in the open field. Now we move on to mistake number two, and this is very similar to mistake number one. And this time it is investing on wrong equipment pieces. For example, let's talk about infantry and let's start with the boots. As you can see, we have three options. We have shields return, we have epic piece, frost threads, and we have sturdy boots of the eternal empire. So we have three top tier boots, two of them perfect, one of them no. And this one is shields return. Let me explain you why. 90% of the time, you won't get a special talent on your equipment. And you cannot dismantle your legendary equipment just like you do your epics. Let me show you the reason. If I go to a legendary, as you can see, it will only give me half of the materials back. But if I dismantle an epic, for example, I will get all the materials back. And that's why we cannot just keep dismantling and recrafting legendary pieces. And since the chances for a special talent is super slim, we will get 8% defense on Shio's return. But if you take a look at the Frost Threads, it gives us 5.5% defense. This is 
a lot easier to get a special talent as you can see I have it on my Richard and the first reason is epic blueprints are a lot easier to collect and obviously the second reason is when you dismantle it you get all the materials back so you can just keep dismantling and forging until you get a special talent so when you get a special talent on this equipment frost threads you get 7.5 percent infantry defense now this only requires 40 epic materials but this one requires 40 legendaries which means 160 epic so this is four times more expensive than the epic but the only thing that we get is extra half percent defense and this actually gives the exact same stat with the epic piece so why we want to craft that and the reason is two pieces set bonus extra three percent defense this is the only logical upgrade if you want to craft the best of the best equipment because we will get extra set effect from two pieces which is troop defense the exact same thing also goes for the glows we have sacred grips we have one brace of the eternal empire and for the epic piece we have sets brutality again 7.5 percent defense with a special talent but if you take a look at sacred grips exact same thing with shio's return only half percent better stats but if you craft the one braces of the eternal empire you are working on that two pieces set bonus which is three percent defense there is another very important thing when it comes to equipment you should know this rule health is the most important stat than defense than attack first you should work on the legendaries if the epic for that specific slot gives you attack for example one of the most important infantry part is hope cloak and this is not a set piece but why this is so important because this piece gives us infantry defense and if you take a look at our epic piece for infantry this one gives us attack and we want to get rid of this attack stat and we want to replace it with defense as soon as possible i have a detailed step-by-step -step upgrade equipment guide for every single troop type you can find those links in the description or the videos on my channel but these two are the most important things when it comes to equipment mistake number three this is more like a beginner mistake but i have to mention that and it is about your resources as you can see these resources in here if people rally my city they can actually get all those resources and that's why you should never ever use these packs these chests unless you need those resources asap right now i don't need any resources i'm not healing i'm not doing anything so there is no reason for me to pop these resource packs because these cannot be plundered these are in my chest in my bag but these are not these can get stolen by other governors so for example if i do this let me see now i'm risking extra 500 gold 4 million stone 6 million wood and 6 million food to get plundered don't do that always save your resource tokens and only use them when you are actually need them mistake number four is not subscribing to spartan gaming of course this is not a rise of kingdoms mistake but if you guys think any of the information was useful or helpful so far please hit the like please hit the subscribe it only takes one second of your time but really 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 helps the channel now mistake number four is actually outside of the game and it is blindly migrating to a new kingdom you definitely don't want to just randomly migrate into a kingdom because this can actually kill your whole gaming experience. You should avoid it at all cost. As you can see, you can find the link in the description. We have a Discord and if you just scroll down a little bit, you can see migration jumper ads. Here, players from the different kingdoms actually promoting their kingdom. They are talking about what they need, what they are looking for and they are telling you what they can offer you can contact them you can talk to them and this way you could have a lot better experience you don't have to go to our discord there are as you can see a lot of discords let's go to chisco's discord and here just scroll down and yes kingdom recruitment again a lot of kingdoms a lot of player talking about their kingdoms promoting their kingdoms and looking for new fighters so definitely check those discord channels and find the perfect kingdom for you because this can actually make or break your whole rise of kingdoms gameplay and experience mistake number five is another beginner's mistake and it is wasting your stars on wrong commanders if you're an experienced player you can completely skip this part but if not you should definitely listen the reason why you should upgrade this level right here and the star level of your commander is 
the talents because every single time you upgrade him a level you get another extra talent points and for your primary commanders you must get all the talent points but there are some commanders who will always be a secondary for example i don't know like chao chao will always be a secondary takeda same thing uh, william again always a secondary to me ysg is always a secondary either i don't know to saladin charles martel nebu ramses artemisia doesn't matter he's always a secondary and if you guys didn't know the talents on your secondary commander doesn't mean anything they don't work so the moment you unlock every single skill of this commander which you can do it at four stars you should just stop because they will always be a secondary why would you waste your golden stars i can get him to five stars i have a bunch of stars but why would i do that it will be wasted because he will always be a secondary so that's why for commanders who will always be a secondary you should just leave them at four stars now these were the five mistakes that you have to avoid at all costs but for everyone who stick with me until the end of the video i have a bonus tip and it's about leaving an alliance especially in kvk you will just keep leaving an alliance and joining a new one because let's say i'm in kingsland right now but i will go afk i will go farming so what i want to do i want to leave my alliance i want to join a farm alliance and go to a safe spot but before i do that before i go to settings and quit alliance you should always first go to territory and grab all these territory resource earnings and then click on help the reason is we get individual credits by helping again spend all your technology here or this one is the recommended one spend all your technology because you will again get individual credits when you leave an alliance and join a new one your chances to donate will be zero so you won't be able to donate when you join a new one so you should always spend your alliance donations and obviously grab all the gifts from the alliance before you leave that and then after you do all that you can quit alliance you can join a new one and go to a safe spot that was the bonus mistake hope you guys liked it hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did a simple like and subscribe is greatly appreciated i see you on the next one thank you for watching bye